Okay, in this video, we are going to look at uh, the area function, area of a triangle. You have a quadratic function describing the area of a triangle. I have here A of X. A of X, X uh, is equal to half X square, one half. Or you can type in 0 0.5. So half x squared plus 2x plus 2x is given to us. This is a quadratic function and its graph is already there. And suppose if your graph is not looking good, you know that you can go to the settings. You can go to the settings there and fix up those values. So just uh, type in some uh, suitable numbers and uh, try to get your values. So here, I want to make it some more better looking. I think this area I'll take off from negative five x value. Let me make it negative five. And the right side, I'll take the maximum x value, 10. 10, okay. And in steps of one, you can go. And uh, these x values on the x axis, it is the side, the base of the triangle you have. Base is that x value. So you can type in it is this is the base of the given triangle. And the uh, y values are the height. No, it's the area, sorry. Area of the triangle. Okay. And it starts from just for a convenience, I'll take. Like I said, where was the vertex? It is at negative two, two. So I'll just go down a little bit. So I can take negative three and y value maximum something like twenty or twenty-five. It takes uh, y max is twenty-five with steps of five. So now your figure is appearing like this. This is the graph of a quadratic function representing the area of a triangle where x is the uh, measure of the base, the base length, and uh, a of x is the whole area of the triangle. Like for example here, uh, what is the value for example for x is equal to 1 when the base of the triangle is 1, the area is going to be how much? It is close to 2.5. Yeah, it says 2.5 if the side is 1. And for 2, 3, 4, for uh, whatever is the measure of the base, you will get corresponding heights. Okay. Now, you are looking for the domain and the range and the, what are all the other values that are the uh, relevant to this quadratic function. So how do you do that? Let us see. And before that, let me show you how to get the uh, direct values for this uh, area with reference to the base. That is, I'll go to the settings here. You can see there edit list you have. On that, you can see an option converting the given function into a table. So click on the table. Now you got your values starting from zero. If the base is a zero, Right? Then the area of a triangle becomes 0. Right? And uh, if the base is a 2, the area is a how much? 6. Likewise, for 3, it is 10.5, 4, 5. And even if uh, you are looking for 10, if the base is a 10, the corresponding area is 70. Right? So that's how for any of these values, you can just uh, get them. Any of the base, the corresponding areas you will get. Okay, so that value is obtained. Now, if you are asked to find what is the domain in this scenario, that is what all x values you can have for that triangle, the base can be anything starting from 0. You can go all the way up to like 5, 10, 15, any number you take base corresponding areas you will get. Okay, so therefore, in this case, if I have to write my domain, I'll say that it is going all the way from 0 to infinity. 
on the right side all these are the x values right x can take any of these numbers there is no restriction because the graph is going higher and higher and higher okay so correspondingly the range also it starts from zero goes all the way up remember the domains are your x values and the range is the y values and if at all you want to know what is the vertex here that is their negative two and the negative two if the base is negative two the area is negative two which is not uh, possible because the measure cannot be a negative it has to be a positive value all right so i hope this will help you to figure out the answers for your uh, question in the task right type in the function whatever function you get type in there and look for the values and uh, if you want to find the area at a particular base if the base is a six what is the area of the triangle type in six here on the left you'll get your answer okay instead of substituting going there in place of x writing down that number whatever number you're looking for you can just do it up in this table all right okay thank you thanks for watching